Right, happening right now, dock workers at ports from Maine to Texas are on strike over compensation and automation. The deadline was up at midnight, and with no deal in sight, many worry about this causing a big shortage of goods and other potential impacts. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones is live in New Haven to break down where things stand now. What are you hearing, Marcy? Good morning. Well, we are out in front of a New Haven port. Well, thankfully, their operations will not be affected. That's because they don't have the capacity for massive cargo ships. However, experts warn that nobody will escape this strike unscathed. The issue boils down to the fact that the contract between the ports and about 45,000 members of the International Longshoremen's Association expired at midnight after failed negotiations. The strike impacting 36 East and Gulf Coast ports will have a ripple effect, straining the flow of many imports and exports, prompting some experts to call it potentially America's most disruptive work stoppage in decades. Warning that the longer the strike goes on, the work stoppage could lead to higher costs on goods and create shortages ahead of the holiday shopping season, affecting shipments from everything such as bananas to plywood, interrupting the flow of both consumer goods and industrial materials for factories. A two to three day strike will take uh, two weeks to clear. A one week strike will bring us into November and then two week strike will bring us into early next year before those containers and ships will be processed. JP Morgan estimates that the strike could cost the economy anywhere from 3.8 to 4.5 billion dollars every single day. That's why everyone is hoping for a swift resolution. In New Haven, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.